Good morning, happy Friday. Welcome to Aura 7 Yoga here at Aura 7 Active or an Instagram live class at 10 a.m. Every weekday at Pacific time, we are here practicing Alala Yoga. This morning, I'm going to be your guide. My name is Francesca. I'm going to, I am the founder and creative director of Aura 7, and it's my pleasure to be here and guide you through your beautiful practice. So when you're ready, we're going to get going. We're going to lay down beautiful. Hi, good to see you guys. All right, so come and lay down onto your mat. We're going to start onto our backs. Simply laying down. <clears throat> Bring the soles of the feet together. Don't let your knees to fall out to the side. Sukta Parakanasana. Place your left palm onto your heart. Place your right palm onto your belly. Just gently tuck the chin to the chest, elongate through the cervical spine. Soften the inner thighs, the inner groins, and let your knees to fall out to the side. Without forcing anything, just allowing the body to naturally open up, using the gravitation to gently open up your body. This time, gently opening up the hips. Feel your whole back body pressing down to the mat, feeling that support underneath your back. And guide your focus, shift it over to your breath. Slow, steady inhales through the nose. Slow, steady exhale out through the nose. Start to slow down the breath. And as you slow down the breath, you slow down the mind. Start to create longer and longer space in between each and every thought. And eventually the only thing you have is your breath. Finding that calmness in the body and the mind. Take another deep inhale in through the nose. Feel up the lungs all the way to the top in this time. Imagine you can pull the air a little bit deeper into your pelvic floor. Sip a little more air in. Hold it at the top. Now sip a little more in. Hold it at the very top. And open your mouth, audible AJA sound, let it out, let it go. Again, deep inhale through the nose, seal the lips, fill up the lungs slowly, one third of the way, pause. And fill up the lungs all, all the way to the second third of the way, and pause. Now fill up the lungs all the way to the top, feel it up all the way to the very, very top. Imagine that you can pull the air all the way to the body, into the toes, into the fingertips, into the crown of the head. Then open your mouth nice, audible, exhale, release, let it out, let it go. And then gently blink your eyes open, bring the knees together. Knock the knees onto your chest, give yourself a gentle squeeze, a gentle hug. Release the sole of the left foot down to the mat. Pull the right knee into the shoulder socket. Release the sole of the right foot down to the mat. Pull the left knee into the shoulder socket. Come into a modified happy baby. Grab behind the knees as you pull the knees out into your shoulder socket. Flex your feet, the ankles on top of the knees. And release the lower back down to the mat. Bring the knees into a tabletop position. Run the knees over the hips. Flex your feet. Bring the arms out into a goalpost and drop the knees over to the left as you gaze over to the right. And come back to center. Use your core as you guide your knees back to center. Press the lower back down to the mat. Then slowly let the knees to go over to the right. Gaze over to the left. Stacking the knees on top of each other. Deep, slow inhale. And exhale. And then bring the knees back to center. Soles of the feet come down to the mat. Then you go into a bridge pose. Reach the arms up and overhead. Let's see if I have enough room behind you. Reach the up and up and overhead. And the hips are down to the mat. Your heels are hip distance apart. And as you exhale, push the arms by your side and let the hips up. Then inhale, release the hips down. Reach the arms up and overhead. Feel each and every vertebrae the whole time. Exhale. Lift up the hips, slowly lift each and every vertebrae away from the mat as you release the arms. Inhale, drop the hips, reach the arms up and overhead. And exhale, come on back, lift the hips, bring the arms by your side. Hold it here, keep the hips lifted. 
arms by your side, tuck the chin to the chest. Check on the knees, making sure the knees are still hip distance apart. Gently start to bring the hands underneath the body. Press into the pinky edge of the palm as you lift the hips even higher. Release the arms, release the hips down to the mat. Bring your knees back into a tabletop position. Interlock the hands, steeple grip, cross the thumbs, release the index finger. Reach out to the outside of the right leg and then extend the left leg all the way forward. Hold it here, see if you can lift the shoulder blades a little bit higher, crunch it up. Maybe straighten out through the right leg and reach up all the way to the outside of the right ankle. Pull the belly in, lift the shoulder blades, hold it here. Good, re-bend your legs, bring the knees together, bring the hands to the outside of the left knee, then slowly extend the right leg forward. Keep the shoulder blades lifted, especially the right side shoulder. Now maybe extend the left leg all the way to the ceiling and reach a little higher out to the outside of the left ankle. Deep inhale. And exhale. Good job. Bring the knees back to center. Bring the arms by your side. Turn the palms towards each other. Lift up the chest. And slowly reach the right leg forward. Exhale. Switch. Left leg forward. Exhale. Switch. Shoulder blades are still lifted. Pull the belly in. Exhale. Switch. Keep the left leg forward, point the left toe, and reach the right leg forward to meet the left. Finger or the toes and the eyes in one level, shoulder blades are lifted, hold it here, five, four, three, two, and one. Release all the way down to the mat. Reach the arms up and overhead. Take a full body stretch, toes away from the fingers, fingers away from the toes. Hug the knees to your chest, roll back and forth a couple of times onto your mat, massage at your spine. Then cross the ankles and come on all the way into tabletop position, all fours. Spread the fingers underneath the shoulders, open up through the palms, pull the belly in, lengthen through the back of the neck. Go through cat and cow as you drop the belly, lift the gaze, lift the tailbone, and exhale, round out. Tuck chin to the chest, gaze back to your navel. Come on back into a neutral tabletop position, inhale your right arm high to the sky. Exhale. Thread the needle, bring the right shoulder, right ear down to the mat. Reach the left arm forward, turn the left tricep down to the mat. Find a nice long line from the left outer hip all the way to the left pinky. Then lift the left arm to the ceiling. Reach up to the sky. Bend your top one, reach back behind your back. Roll the left shoulder back. Keeping the hips over the knee line. Maybe shift the body weight over to the right knee and pick up the left foot, left knee. Stretch the left leg all the way back to the sky. To the ceiling, hold it there, or maybe bend the top leg and reach back for your foot or ankle if you like, grabbing for the chapasana. Slowly, without slingshotting, releasing the leg as slow as you can, release the knee down to the mat, open up from your bind, press the left palm down to the earth, inhale, reach the right arm high into the sky, and come on back to center. And then go to the other side, lift the left arm high to the sky. Exhale, thread the needle, bring the left shoulder underneath your body, left ear comes down to the mat. For the first couple of breaths, reach the right arm forward. Turn the right tricep down, find a nice long line from the right pinky all the way to the right hip. Lift the right arm back to the ceiling, all the way high up. Bend your elbow, reach back behind your back. Use that half bind to roll the right shoulder more to the ceiling, open through the spine. And maybe shift the body weight to the right knee as you pick up the left foot, left knee away from the mat. Reach it to the ceiling. Then maybe finding the chapasana variation. Reach back, grabbing the foot or ankle. Slowly reach the left arm left high to the sky. Release it down. Push the right palm down to the earth. Inhale, left arm high to the sky. Exhale, release it down. Coming onto your hands and knees. Then keeping the hips over the knee line. Slowly start to walk the hands forward. Draw the chest down. Bring your forehead down to the mat. Rotate the tricep muscles down as you reach the fingers more forward. Now maybe lift up the gaze, place the chin onto the mat as you drop the chest even deeper down to the earth. Three more breaths here. Gently one hand front at a time, press yourself back up. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips high, find your down dog. Bend your right knee a lot, release the left heel down to the mat. Then switch, bend your left knee a lot, release the right heel down to the mat. Do that a couple of times. Feel the connection with the breath, feel how you're pushing the earth away with both palms, pressing the knuckles down to the earth, wrapping the tricep muscles down. Good. And find stillness in your downward facing dog. 
Maybe keep a soft bend into both knees to be able to lift the tailbone high to the sky, keeping the engagement in the belly. Push the earth away with all ten knuckles, lengthen through the back of the neck. Slow, deep inhale. Exhale, let it out. Come on high onto your tippy toes, stretch out your feet. Roll the heels to the back right corner of the mat. Come back to center, come on high onto your toes and then roll the heels towards the back left corner of the mat. Good, come on back to center. Downward facing dog. Reach your right hand to the outside of the left leg. Twist and turn slightly in the upper body. Release it down, right palm down. Reach the left hand to the outside of the right leg. Gaze underneath the right armpit. Come back to center. Walk your hands back to your feet. Feet are hip distance apart, coming into your ragdoll. Hips are over the ankle line. Drop the head down, grab onto the elbows. Swaying the body right and left. Releasing all the tension from the lower back. Hands behind your back, interlock the hands and reach the fist to the ceiling, lengthen through the back of the neck, straighten out through the elbows. Bring the hands down to the mat. Lift up your chest, keep the feet hip distance apart, slide your palms up onto the shin bone, squeeze the shoulder blades together, find a baby back bend here. Exhale, fold forward, still keeping the distance in between the feet, just going nice and deep. Then walk your hands over to the right ankle, pull the forehead closer to the right shin. Walk the hands over to the left ankle, pull the forehead closer to the left shin. And then toe heel your feet all the way mat distance apart, keeping the feet parallel. Drop down into Malasana, turn the toes out, the heels in, hands at your heart center. Press the elbows to the inner knees, lift up the chest. Deep, slow inhale. Exhale, let it out. One more time, deep inhale, push the elbows to the knees, lengthen through the spine, pull the belly in. Exhale, let it out. Hands down to the mat, straighten out to the legs, bring your feet back, hip distance apart, walk your hands out all the way into a high plank position, top of a push up. Slide your feet back, find a nice long line, feet are still hip distance apart, pressing the palms down, round through the upper spine, legs are strong. Bring your feet together, side plank, Vashistasana, left arm high, right arm down. Deep, slow inhale. And exhale, slowly pick up the left foot away from the right leg, bend your top leg, release it behind the right leg, hold it here, or maybe start to open up and reach the left arm behind you. Then lift control, come on back, stack the left foot on top of the right, come on back to center, high plank pose, lower down to your chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog, hips high to the scalp. Inhale, come forward, back into that high plank pose. So good. Hold it here. Pull the belly in, round through the spine. But reach the sternum forward. Bring your feet together. Roll to the outer arch of the left foot. Reach the right arm high to the sky. Squeeze the outer hips, lift up from the left wrist joint. Now lift up the right leg, bend your right knee. Release it behind your left leg, straight left leg. You're on the right tippy toes. You hold it here or maybe open up and twist your hips and shoulders to the ceiling, or chest to the ceiling. And come back, side plank, stack the ankles, come on back down, lower down chaturanga, inhale up for facing dog, and exhale, down for facing dog, hips high to the sky. Slowly bend head through the nose, exhale, let it out, let it go. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up your heart. Exhale, fold deep. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky, rise up. Bring the hands to your heart, Samastiri. Inhale, lift up the arms. Exhale, side stretch, right arm down, left arm reaching up and over. Push the hips to the left, lift up from the waistline. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, all the way to the left, reach the arm, the right arm off to the left, push the hips to the right, inhale back to center, exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift, exhale, plant the palms, step back, high plank, lower down, Chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog, right away, without a break, inhale, gaze forward, Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat with the breath. Inhale, lift up the chest. 
Exhale, fold and bend. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. Hands come back to your heart. Inhale, lift up the arms. This time, grab onto your left wrist with the right fingers. Lift up from the waistline and then start to pull the wrist, the left wrist to the right. Lift the chin away from the chest as you push the hips to the left. Engage your glute, root down to the heels, stack the shoulders on top of each other. Come back to center, grab onto your right wrist. Engage your glute, lift, the, lift up from the waistline, tuck the tailbone under. Exhale, start to lean over to the left, push the hips to the right. Chin away from the chest, stacking the shoulders on top of each other. Inhale, come back to center. Separate your feet, hip distance apart. Place your hands onto your lower back. Keep your feet hip distance apart. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale. So you push the hips forward. Lift up your heart. Find that nice back bend. Lift up from the waistline. Support your lower back. Inhale, come back to center. Feet are together. Lift up your arms. Exhale, fold forward. Come down, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Exhale, step back into a high plank position and pause there. Come down onto your elbows, forearm plank. And now holding your forearm plank, bend your right knee and bring the right knee close to the mat, but keep your left leg straight. And then straighten out to the right leg and then bend your left knee, hover the left knee just a half of an inch or like a half of a millimeter over the mat, almost touching the mat. Then switch, exhale. Switch, exhale. Switch, exhale. Press down to the forearm, switch, exhale. Switch, exhale. Five more. Exhale. 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 Come back to your forearm plank. Hold it here. Come on back onto your palms. One hand print at a time. Go to an optional vinyasa. Or just simply stre stretch back into your downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg halfway up. Point the right toes down straight on the right leg. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right tricep. Squeeze it. Hold. Inhale your right leg high to the sky. Point the right toe high to the ceiling. Come on high up to the left tippy toes. Lift the left heel away from the mat. And then see if you can lift the right leg even higher. Engage your right glute. Keep the right leg engaged and lift it up high. See if you can release the left heel down to the mat. Exhale, pull the knee to your nose. Round through the spine, gaze back to your navel. Lift the right shin bone higher up to your chest. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Bend the knee and point the right knee to the ceiling, but still wrapping the right shoulder down to the mat. And then slowly start to let the right shoulder to open up and maybe if that's okay, flip your dog. Release the bend right knee in behind the left straight leg and reach the right arm to the sky, let the hips higher. Go on back to center, right palm down, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, step the right leg all the way forward to a low lunge. Drop the back knee down and inhale, lift up high, crescent moon. Sink down deeper into your hips. Pull the right hip back. Lift up from the waistline, reach the energy from the belly button all the way up to the ceiling with the fingers. Bring the hands to your heart center and then hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Pull the right hip joint back into the center line and twist in your torso. Now with the left, left knee being down onto the mat, it's easier to focus on the twist happening just in your upper body. Then gently tuck your left knees under, or your left toes under, tuck the left toes under, and then slowly lift the left knee away from the mat, pulling the right hip back, and see if you can make that left leg, that back leg, as straight as you can. Deep, slow inhale, and exhale. Okay, bring the hands down to the mat. Come on into a runner's lunge. Toe here the right foot all the way to the outside of the right pinky. Keep the left leg, left knee lifted, and reach with the sternum forward. Deep inhale. Maybe come on down onto your elbows as you exhale. Come on back into your palms. Toe heel your right foot to center. Drop the left knee down, point the left toes back, and come on into a half split pose. Straight into the right leg, flex the right foot to the face. Lengthen out from the waistline. 
Pull the belly in, activate your core. Three more breaths. See if you can flex the right foot a little bit more like you're stepping on a pedal with the right foot. Feeling the stretch in the calf, feeling the stretch in the hamstring. Rebend the right leg. Left palm comes to the inside of the right foot. Reach the right arm back. Bend your back leg and reach back for your foot or ankle. Kick into your right palm. Roll the left shoulder, I'm sorry, the right shoulder up to the ceiling. Then release. Right palm comes down. Tuck the back toes under. Bring your right foot next to the left. Come on down onto your forearms. Turn the right forearm in, right fingers in. Side plank Vajrasthasana on your right forearm. Lift up from the right shoulder. Lift the left finger deep to the sky. Flex your feet. Deep, slow inhale. And exhale. Come on down, center. Both forearms down onto the mat. Gaze down in one spot. Legs are strong. Feet together. Turn to the other side. Side plank onto the left forearm. Stacking the hips on top of each other. Flexing your feet. Reaching the energy up to the right finger. Come back to center. Both forearms down to the mat. Without dropping the knees or the hips down to the mat. Come on back. One hand thing at a time onto your palms. Add an optional vinyasa. Or skip that. Downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg. Halfway up. Turn the left toes down, level out through the hips, push the earth away with the left and right palm equally. Exhale, bring the left knee to the left tricep and hold it there. Right leg is strong, your left knee hugs into the outside of the left tricep. Inhale, your left leg high to the sky, point your toe, lift it a little bit higher. Engage your left glute, lift the left leg as high as you can, then come up high onto your right tippy toes, lift the right heel away from the mat. Re-engage your left glute. Keep the left leg strong and straight. See if you can keep it this high. And then slowly lower the right heel down to the mat. Exhale, bring the knee to your nose. Round through the spine. Gaze back to your navel, navel. And lift the left shin bone a little higher. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Bend the knee. Point the left knee to the ceiling. But shine your left shoulder down to the mat. Deep, slow inhale. And exhale. Then slowly open up through the left side chest. Then see if you can flip your dog. If this is too much for your shoulders, try not to do that. Just keep up with that one-legged uh, or three-legged down dog with your left leg lift. Slowly with control, come on back. Left leg high to the sky. Exhale, step the left leg all the way forward into a low lunge. Drop the right knee down. Point the right toes back. Lift up the chest and inhale, lift up the arms. Feel the opening in the front of right hip bone. Maybe a little pinching sensation in the left hip flexor. But pull the belly in and lift up from the waistline. Deep inhale. Bring the hands to your heart center. Lean forward and hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Turn and twist in your torso. Your right knee is down into the mat. So it's a little bit easier for focusing on simply on the twist. Where is the twist starting? Starting in the waistline, around the belly button. As you saw from the belly button, with each exhale, you can twist a little bit more. And you can also tuck the back toes under, or we're all going to tuck the back toes under. The right toes under. And then pressing the palms together, staying in this twist, slowly start to lift the right kneecap away from the mat. Make sure your right heel is pointing straight back behind you. You're pressing the knuckles together. You're making the right leg, your back leg, as strong as you can, lifting the right kneecap away from the mat. Slow, deep inhale, and twist as you exhale. And release the hands down to the mat. Don't get the left foot out to the left edge of the mat. Both palms come to the inside of the left foot. Runner's lunge. Keeping the right leg straight. Lift it away from the mat. Stay in your palms or come on down onto your forearms. Activate the back leg. If you're down into the forearms, come on back onto your palms. Toe here, the left foot back to center. Drop the right knee down. Shift the body weight back and come on into the half split pose. Flex the left foot. Pull the left thigh bone back into its socket. Lengthen out from the spine. Pull the belly in. Exhale, go deeper. Two more breaths. Inhale. Actively flex the left foot. Exhale. 
We bend the front leg, right palm down, reach the left arm back behind you, bend your right leg, reach back for your foot or ankle, kick into the palm, open up to the left shoulder, deep inhale, and exhale. Good, slowly release. Tuck the back toes under, let the right knee away from the mat, step back into a high plank position, come on down onto your forearm, again, forearm plank. Good, feet are hip distance apart, tuck the tailbone under, reach your sternum forward, wrap your tricep muscles back, spin the biceps forward. And slowly start to walk your toes in towards the elbows, mindfully. Keeping a micro bend into both knees, or maybe a deep bend into both knees. As you can start to work on straightening out through the spine, lifting up from the waistline, pulling the belly in and making your lower back nice and long. Dolphin pose. Feel the weight in the left and right forearm equal. Your breath is fluid in and out through the nose. Good job. Walk your feet back behind. Come back into that forearm plank position. Find a forearm plank, hold it there. Let the thigh bones away from the mat. Engage your thigh muscles. Knee guts are lifted. Press down to the forearms. Come on back onto your hands. High plank. Go through an optional vinyasa. Make your way back. Downward facing dog. Slow deep inhale. Slow deep exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Feet together, inhale, or half way lift. Exhale, keep all that length, falls forward, Uttanasana. Chair pose, bend your knees, drop the thighs, lift up the arms. Pull the belly in. Bring the hands to your heart center, drop the thigh bones, shift the body weight back to the heels and twist. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee, pressing the palms together, lift up from the waistline. Check onto your lower back sacrum situation. Make sure that it's nice and long. You're not twisting in your hips. Then join the palms back together. Focus on the twist. With each inhale, encourage your spine to get longer. With each exhale, soften the belly and twist a little deeper. And come back to center. Lift up the arms. Sit down deep in your chair. Fly your arms back behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades, interlock the hands behind your back, squeeze the shoulder blades, neck is long. Exhale, fold forward, keep that bind, bring the forehead down to your shins. Release the hands down to the mat, inhale, or the half lift. Exhale, fold deep. Bend your knees, chair pose, Utkatasana, lift up the arms. Bring the hands to your heart center, twist to the left. Hook the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Press the palms together, stack the elbows on top of each other, maybe go and check onto that lower back situation. Make sure your twist, the hips are not twisted, your lower back is still nice and long. Join the palms back together, three more breaths here. Each inhale, you encourage the length of the spine. Each exhale, you soften the belly and twist. And then come back to center, inhale the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, fly the arms back behind you, still sitting deep in the chair pose. Interlock the hands behind your back, left neck is long. Exhale, bring the forehead down to your shins, straight down through the legs, keep the bind. Release the hands down to the mat, toe heel your feet, hip distance apart. Grab onto your big toe with the index finger and middle finger, reach the chest forward, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Let the shoulder blades away from the ears as you press the elbows out to the side. Activate the bicep muscles as you pull the upper body closer to the lower body. Good job. Lift up the chest. Now place the left hand onto your left hip. Keep the right big toe. And then see if you can shift the body weight to the left leg and slowly lift the right leg up. Alright, okay, so it's just a little play time. You may not be able to grab your right big toe, and that's totally fine. Then you're going to grab your right knee. But what I want you to focus on, to make that left leg strong and straight. And if you have the right knee, activate the right foot as you stay up, as you balance the crown of the head over the left heel. If you have the right big toe, maybe soften the right knee so you can really balance the crown of the head over the left heel. And maybe throughout the next couple breaths, you work on straightening out through that front leg. Slow, deep inhale. And exhale. 
You're going to twist in this pose. So if you have the knee, you're going to place the left hand onto the outside of the right knee and reach the right arm back. Notice that I'm still flexing my right foot. I'm activating through the right foot. If you have the big toe, you could grab the outside arch of the right leg, right foot, with the left fingers. And again, your right knee can be bent. That's totally fine. And maybe throughout the next couple breaths, you work on straightening out through that leg. And maybe it's going to stay bent the whole time. Come back to center. Lift up the arms. Point the right toe. Hold it here. Cross the right ankle on top of the left. Come down into a little eagle pose. Grab the right leg over the left. Right elbow under the left. Grabbing opposite shoulders or finding your full body. Squeeze the outer hips. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Tuck the tailbone under. See if you can lean back two more inches. And then squeeze the inner thighs together so you can sit down two more inches. Slowly release. The Dasana Mountain Pose. Inhale, lift up the arms. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift up the chest. Separate your feet, hip distance apart. This time, slide your hands underneath your feet. Step onto your palms. Make sure your toes are touching your wrist crease. You can shift the body way forward and really massage out your palms, your wrists. Inhale, exhale, fold forward. Now first, let every, everything, the whole upper body melt down towards the earth. Then feel how you like letting the shoulders to melt on top of your neck. Lift the shoulder blades away from the ears, lengthen through the back of the neck. Keep that nice activation through the back body as you push the elbows out to the side. Now see if you can shift the body weight more forward into the toe mount. Really, really massage now the palms, the fingers, the wrists. Good, then gently release. Release the hands from underneath the feet. And then um, this time, you're going to grab onto the left big toe. You're going to place the right hand onto your right hip. Shift the body weight over to the right leg. And then see if you can lift up that left leg, holding on on that big toe. Good job. Now, if you want to hold on the knee, that's fully fine. Grab onto your left knee. Right leg is long. If you want the big toe, you reach down from the inside of the left knee. And then slowly stretch the left leg out. Pull the left thigh bone back to its socket. And maybe keeping the bend into the left knee. Or maybe breathing length through the back of the left leg. Keep the crown of the head over the right heel. Deep, slow inhale. And exhale. Now if you have the knee, you're going to place the right hand onto the outside of the right. Right hand onto the outside of the left knee. You're going to flex the left foot. Your right leg is still straight. Then reach the left hand back behind you. If you have the foot or the big toe, you can grab onto the outer arch of the left foot. Kick it out to the side. And twist. Slowly come back to center. Keep the left leg lifted. Reach the arms to the sky. Point the left toe forward. Pull the belly in. Lean more forward and up. Hold it here. Bend both knees. Eagle pose. Wrap the left leg on top of the right. Kickstand or maybe a full bind. Bring the left elbow underneath the right. Or maybe find your opposite shoulders. Lift the elbows all the way shoulder height. Press the forearms forward. Pull the belly in. Lean back more. Squeeze onto the inner thighs, outer hips. Tucking the tailbone under. Sit down two inches deeper. Lean back an inch more. Good job. Slowly release. The Dasana man pose. Separate your feet hip distance apart. Place your hands onto your lower back sacrum. Push the hips forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades. And lift up your chest. And come back to center. Step to the side. Open the legs wide. Make your feet parallel. Bring the arms out to the side in a T. Squeeze the outer hips, your glute muscles. And slowly start to go down. Just halfway. Lean more forward. Reach the body weight, the crown of the head forward. And then feel how your hips and the heels are still in one line. You're not pushing the booty behind the heel line. Now bring the fingers behind the ears. Bring the elbows out to the side and hold it here, strengthening your core. Strengthening the muscles all around the spine. Bring the arms out to the side. Left arm down, right hand onto your lower back. Stay room it out, twisting in your hips, twisting your torso and your belly. Reach the right arm high. 
Bend your top arm, reach back behind your back and roll the right shoulder up. Inhale, right arm high. Come back to center, bring the fingers behind the ears, lean more forward, strengthen your core. Bring the arms back out to the side, right hand down, left hand onto your lower back sacrum. Twist and turn in your torso without moving in your hips. Now lift the left arm to the sky, left finger keeps aligned with the left shoulder. Bend your left arm and reach back behind your back, finding a little deeper opening through the chest. Come back to center, reach the arms out to the side. Exhale, fold forward, bring your hands down. Let the crown of the head to melt down to the earth. Walk your feet back so the heels of the hands are aligned with the heels of the feet. And if the crown of the head comes down comfortably onto the mat, maybe you can lean into your chaturanga arms and you can pick up your feet and come upside down into a tripod headstand. If you're not ready to lift, lift, lift up the feet, you can stay just right there. Or there's another option, I'm just going to show you quickly. You can place the knees onto the triceps. That would be your first little bit of a variation. If your legs are up in the sky, split them apart, and then slowly start to release them back down to the mat. Place your hands onto your hips, and with a flat spine, come on all the way up. Turn your toes out, the heels in. Inhale the arms up. Bring the hands to your heart center, and sit down into your goddess pose. Tuck the tailbone under, draw the thighs deep. And then lift up the right heel. Release, lift up the left heel. Release, lift up both heels. Balance there. Three more breaths. Drop the heels. Hands onto your inner knees. Reach with the chest forward, dip the right shoulder in, push the right knee back. And come back to center, dip, dip the left shoulder in. Push the left knee back. And come back to center. Lift up the chest, hands at your heart center. Lift up the arms, turn the palms towards each other. Pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone under. Slowly rise back up. Turn the right toes forward. Turn the back toes inward. We're gonna go into triangle. So make sure that you have a heel to heel alignment. Your back toes are turned in. Then reach your arms out, reach the right finger forward. And your right hand comes down, your left arm comes high to the sky. Maybe throughout the next couple breaths, you can release the right fingers down to the mat, maybe to the outside of the right foot today. Stacking the left shoulder on top of the right. Imagine that your back is against the wall. You then rise up all the way to center. Turn the toes back in, toes out, heels in. Then we're going to squat that all the way to the right. Turn the left toes to the ceiling. Push the right tricep into the right inner knee. If this is too deep, you can be right here with the hands supporting you. Good, hands come down to the mat, or maybe not, as you shift the body weight over to the left side. Turn the right toes to the ceiling. Hands at your heart, push the left tricep into the left knee. Good, then come back to center. Now turn the left toes forward or back, and then turn the, the right toes inward. So the left toes are facing forward, the right toes are turned in. Pull the left thigh bone into its socket. Pull it, pull it, pull it as you reach with the left arm all the way forward. Left arm down, right arm high to the sky. Triangle Trikonasana. And again, slowly throughout the next couple of breaths, maybe you can release the left fingertips deeper down. But still feel that your back is against the wall. Your right shoulder is directly stacked on top of the left. And then rise back up all the way to center. Turn the feet in. Make the feet parallel this time. And align the hands behind your back. Lift up the chest and exhale. Fold forward. Paschimottanasana. Prasarita Padottanasana. I'm sorry. Prasarita Padottanasana C. Something felt wrong. Good job. Slowly rise back up. Turn the right, to right toes forward, the left toes in. So we're going to turn all the way forward like you're going into warrior one, like sort of a pyramid pose. Hips are facing forward. Inhale your left arm high to the sky. 
Exhale, slowly reach forward. I'm gonna go back so I have enough room for here. Slowly reach forward, pull the right hip back, and exhale, twist. Left fingertips down, right arm high to the sky. Place your right hand first, maybe onto your lower back sacrum to really feel that nice line through the spine. Then add the arm extension, right arm high to the sky. Twist the triangle. Good, slowly rise up, then get the arms up. We're gonna turn all the way to the other side. Your left toe is gonna point forward. Your right toes are turned in, so your hips and shoulders face forward. Left hand onto your hip, right arm high. And then reach the right arm forward as you pull the left hip in. And exhale, twist, right hand down. Left hand onto your lower back sacrum. Fix that situation, maybe step the right foot out to the side slightly. Fix the legs the way your body is designed so you can actually hold this pose. Then lift the left arm high to the sky. Twist from your torso, feel that opening there. Deep inhale as you lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist. And slowly come back, bring the arms back all the way to center. All the way to the other side, step at the top of the mat. Mountain pose, arms by your side, Tadasana. Shift the body weight over to the left foot. We're going to come into a tree pose. Lift up the right leg. Place the sole of the right foot into the right inner thigh. Turn the right toes out, right knee out to the side. Tuck the tailbone under. Soften the right knee, inner knee, the inner thigh, all the way to the right inner knee. As you squeeze the right outer hip in, pull the belly in. Maybe tuck the chin to the chest. Maybe close your eyes. That's one of the hardest. Or maybe lift the arms all the way to the ceiling. Maybe bring the gaze up to the ceiling, bring the palms to touch. And then gently guide your hands back to your heart. Release the right foot next to the left. Go over to the other side. Lift up the left leg, tree pose on the left side. Find your balance. Place the sole of the left foot either into the right inner thigh or maybe by your right calf, void the kneecap. Turn the left knee out to the side, tuck the tailbone under, soften the left inner groin towards the left inner knee. Turn on the left outer hip muscle. Keep the hands at your heart, maybe lift up the arms, maybe play, play with the gaze, maybe move your upper body, or maybe even bring the hands behind your back for a reverse namaskar if you like. Three more breaths wherever you are. Slowly release. Bring the hands back to your heart center. Release the left foot next to the right. Inhale the arms to the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. And then squat down all the way. When you come down into Malasana, toe heel your feet all the way, mat distance apart, toes out, heels in. Bring the hands to your heart center and sit up nice and tall. You can stay here. We're gonna practice a little bit of a crow pose. So plant the palms down to the mat. Lift up the hips. Place the knees onto your triceps. Point the elbows back, round through the upper spine. Lean forward. Now maybe slowly you're gonna pick up the feet away from the mat. If you have that, maybe bring the big toes to touch. Round through the upper spine, lift up the feet a little higher. Deep inhale, let's see if you can jump back. Shoot the legs back, low chaturanga. And then go through your vinyasa. If you just help your malasana, that's perfectly fine. Step back. Go all the way into a downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bring the right knee to the right tricep. Hold it here. Or maybe start to bend the elbows, come down into a chaturanga, or maybe come into a hurdler pose. Balance. Inhale your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, step the right leg all the way forward into a low lunge. Drop the back knee, half split, or maybe this time you can go into a full split position. Straighten out through the front leg, through the back leg. I love using a block in a full split, especially if it's earlier in the morning. Place a block underneath the right front thigh, and then allow your front thigh to sink into that block. Then you can start to turn the left hip forward, pull the right hip back. And then eventually you can lower the blocks all the way, or the block all the way, or maybe even get rid of that block. Just know that you don't have to always go to the deepest possible place. Be mindful of your body. Good. Slowly bend your right knee. 
Toe here, the right foot all the way to the left side of the mat. Half pigeon pose, flex the right foot. Right shin down into the mat, lift up the chest. Exhale, come on down into your forearm. Press down into the top of the left foot, lift up the chest, deep inhale. Exhale, come on all the way down. Soften the muscles around the right hip. Tune in with the breath. Turn to come on back onto your palms. Tuck the back toes under. Lift the right leg high to the sky. Go through an optional vinyasa if you like, or just simply come back into a downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg high to the sky. Exhale, bring the left knee to the left tricep. Hold it here. Maybe bend the elbow or maybe lean into your chaturanga arm and go into your hurdler pose. Inhale, your left leg high to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through to a low lunge. Drop the right knee down. Half split or full split pose. Straighten out to the front leg. Flex the left foot. See if you can go a little bit deeper this time into this half split pose or maybe do the same thing do, using the block underneath your left front thigh, point the right toes back, turn the right hip forward, left hip back, and then make the next exhale, just allow yourself to sink in a little deeper, opening up, good jab, slowly, come on out from the pose, re-bend your front knee, toe here the left foot all the way to the right side of the mat, draw the left shin down, point the right toes back, lift up your chest, Exhale, come down into the forearms. Deep, slow inhale. Exhale, all the way down. Melt it down. Five breath here. Slowing down the breath, slowing down the body. Pull the left hip slightly back, turn the right hip forward. Soften the muscles around the left hip joint. back up onto your palms, tuck the back toes under, lift the right knee away from the mat, inhale your left leg high to the sky, go through a th uh, optional flow, maybe keeping the left leg lifted or simply just bring the left leg back to the next to the right for your downward facing dog. And come on forward, release the knees down to the mat, swing the legs out to the side, sit down onto the mat. Nandanamaya, join the Shri Shah, so the forehead to knee posture, right knee, a uh, right leg out, sole of the left foot comes into the right inner thigh. Inhale, lift up the arms, turn over your right leg, and as you exhale, melt and fold. Lift up the chest as you inhale, exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Go on back up. Change legs, left leg out, sole of the right foot comes into the left inner thigh, soften the right knee out. Flex the left foot, inhale the arms to the sky, turn over your left leg, exhale, melt, fold all the way forward. Lengthen out from your lower back, deep inhale, exhale, come on a little bit deeper, soften down to the mat. Lift up the chest, bring the soles of the feet together, let your knees to fall out to the side, deep inhale, exhale, fold. Push the elbows to the inner knees, lengthen out from the spine, and exhale, bring the forehead down to your toes. Round through the spine, soften the inner thighs. Lift up the chest, stretch both legs in front of you. Shimmy the hips further back, inhale the arms up, lift up from the waistline, exhale, fold forward. Hashimottanasana. Lifting up the chest, inhale, exhale, forward fold. We arrived, here we go, up there, Prashimottanasana. Just soften everything down to the mat, to the earth. Good job, slowly rise back up. Place the soles of the feet down onto the mat. Reach your arms forward, roll back one vertebrae at a time, all the way onto your mat. Go ahead, hug the knees to your chest, give yourself a squeeze, a hug. Happy baby, soles of the feet up towards the ceiling, reaching from the inside of the knees, grabbing the outer arches of the feet and maybe stretching the legs out to the side if you like. Knees back onto your chest. Left leg long, right knee comes into that shoulder socket, tuck the chin to the chest, activate the left leg deep, inhale. 
Exhale, twist. Guide your right knee all the way to the left. Bring your right arm into a goal post. Turn the right palm to the ceiling. Deep inhale. And exhale. Come back to center. Hug both knees to your chest. Neutralize the spine and then switch to the other side. As your left knee comes into the shoulder socket, your right leg is long. Flex the right foot, press the back of the right knee down to the mat. Deep inhale, tuck the chin to the chest. Exhale, guide your left knee over to the right. Bring your left shoulder down to the mat as you turn the left palm to the ceiling. And come back to center, hug both knees to your chest. Wrap your forearms around the shin, maybe grab it onto opposite forearms, opposite elbows. Let the forehead up to your knees. Squeeze everything together in a tiny, tiny, tiny little ball. Deep inhale, squeeze. And as you exhale, release the skull down to the mat. Lift up the legs to the ceiling. And then slowly, one vertebrae at a time, release the legs all the way down to the mat. Separate your feet hip distance apart. Let your toes to fall out to the side. Shimmy the shoulder blades closer together. Find a nice lift in your heart as you turn the palms up to the ceiling. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. The slow audible exhale as you let it out, let it all go. Couple minutes here in your Shavasana. An amazing place to let go, to heal the body, to heal the mind, to connect to yourself, to create space. Take a moment to scan your body from the toes to the crown of the head. Releasing every single inch of the body. I invite you to stay in your Shavasana as long as you like. But if you're ready to move on, turn the head from one side to the other. Massage out the back of the skull. Gently pull the knees to your chest. Giving yourself a squeeze, giving yourself a hug. Roll over to your right side for fetal position. Then press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Cross your shins, sitting down into a mat. Bring the hands to heart center. Roll the shoulders up and away from the ears. Gently bring the shoulder blades closer together onto your back. Tuck the chin to the chest. Feel your fingers touching each other. Feel your thumbs. Touching your heart, feel your beautiful beating heart here. And gently start to lift the thumbs in between the eyebrows, lift the gaze to the ceiling, blink your eyes open. Together we bow forward, sealing into our practice. Namaste. Thank you so much for showing up this morning. It was a pleasure to guide you through your practice on this beautiful Friday morning. Uh, make sure you check out our very first giveaway. It's been posted. Um, you can win a beautiful items. And I'm actually partnered up with one of my great friends, Lizzie. She is an owner and founder of Ayurvedic Protein, an amazing company, an organic, super healthy Ayurvedic protein option. I love it. It's vegan, it's soy free, it's gluten free, it's all the good stuff. Uh, and I'm going to have a little talk show with Lizzie about her journey about Ayurveda. Ayurveda is an amazing sister science basically of yoga. It's a couple thousand year old amazing science about your body, about your health, about, um, about food and uh, different spices. So make sure you check us out Sunday at 11 o'clock, 11 uh, a.m. PST here uh, or a 7 active or sign up and then check out the details for the giveaway and see you guys very soon. Have a great day.